So today we met with uh, Rear Admiral Haragi, and that was the, an excellent conclusion to our week-long training that we've done with the JMSDF, the JASDAF, and then we also had the AFSOC component. This is the first time AFSOC has led a rescue-centric training involving the US-2 boat plane. So we actually got AFSOC assets flying in the air with US-2 asset flying in the air as well with AFSOC members on board both aircraft and vice versa. What you've been hearing a lot in the news recently as well as what our leadership preaches about a free and open Indo-Pacific is really important and the only way we can ensure that is working with the Japanese. We're stationed on their turf out here and we've also vowed to help protect them from threats. The work that we did this week could potentially save one or many lives in the future and having integrated with them and having passed little, uh, simulated 15 lines rescue training with them has been very beneficial. Being from the American side, we can integrate all the time with joint forces. We're used to working with all of our marine partners, Navy partners, we're primary mode of transport. The Japanese don't typically see the level of integration that we are used to on a daily basis. Having us come in and introduce them to what AFSOC does is going to be critical to them keeping the homeland safe and to keep free and open Indo-Pacific.